Kura Subai, Bonnie Bimo, I want Tiasia. It's against your soul. Usu bain biya se sa on ti asye. U, u pese u jai bi bi biya. Usu bi u ti min jai. It's a matter of the blood. That is the only thing that has the power over your soul. And tonight we're going to pray. Traps against my soul. By the blood I escape it. I escape it. Obi wa demo ha. Lift up your hands. I tell you. I tell you tonight, eh, some of you will go and dream and you'll find yourself breaking out of cages. Amen. Because now you know you know what the weapon to use is a matter of the blood that's why we are taking communion tonight so you will not take the communion as though you are drinking something a drink or something no you are you are working at, uh, for your soul against any trap of hell anytime you are taking the blood it goes beyond your flesh it has to do with your soul and anytime you take the blood in there is something you negotiate before the lord you are going to lift up your voice Trust against my soul. Trust against my soul. A young man doing well. when he says, "Who to a point? It goes beyond your flesh. Your soul has been touched. It goes beyond your flesh." I heard of one of Queen Elizabeth's daughters. She's a kleptomania. Baby, 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 are there? Into an amana bodyguards in a chair. Say, "Oh, yeah, no material." We are no material because they can't do anything about it. That is, that is, he, the, her soul has been touched. Something has been altered in her soul. That is why you have been praying for too long, but nothing is changing. You are not using the right weapon. You are going to lift up and say, by the blood, by the blood. anything that has touched my soul, any arrow that has pierced my soul, any trap that has pierced my soul, I escape by the blood. I escape by the blood. I escape by the blood. Any attack on my mind, I escape by the blood. Any attack on my heart, I escape by the blood. Clap your hands and begin to escape, escape. By the blood. 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 He a fire. 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 A palia. 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 By the blood. 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 Something will turn around from your soul. From your soul. From your soul. With the blood of blood. With the blood of blood. With the blood of blood. Rapayana. Rapayana. Rapayana.
will happen to us listen the only thing Jesus said had the power and the Bible said has the power to handle conscience soul has the power to handle he said it's the blood of Jesus it's the blood of Jesus there are things that work against your soul the devil knows if he gets you from the inside you will fail on the outside people don't fail by external attacks they fail by internal attacks. That the devil is a master. He was before the world began. He knows how to let you fall. Your greatest enemy is not outside, it's inside. And sometimes it is your own character. That it is your own character is more a threat to your destiny than the devil. So all the devil does is to influence your character, your soul, the seat of your soul, your feelings. That is why he is introducing certain music, introducing certain movies, so that he can influence the seat of your soul. And when he is able to dilute your soul, then he can cause through your soul, cause your downfall. But we pray in the name of Jesus, Jesus. that may our souls be secure. Amen. I said, may our souls be secure. Amen. May our souls be secure. Amen. May our soul. Your children's souls are secure. Amen. Your family soul is secure. Amen. Your soul is secure. Amen. In the name Jesus. 
out by the blood, by the blood I receive the grace I receive the to grace do the will of God. Say so by the blood, I receive the grace to be humble. Say by the blood, I receive the grace to be holy. By the blood, I receive the grace to live upright. Say by the blood, I receive the grace to walk in line with God in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Listen, people of God. This is where deliverance is. When you know the deal as you should. This is how victors are produced. So that when you are dealing with anything concerning your feeling, you deal with it with the blood. The blood. That's why sometimes I'm shocked when people miss communion themselves. You don't know what it means. You don't know. The second thing about the blood, we're going to pray. It is in Revelation 12, 9. The blood holds back the wrath of God. The blood. It does not only negotiate for the life of your soul. It is able to hold back God from judgment. And the holy thing about, the most powerful thing about the blood, the Bible calls us the vessels of mercy. And if you know you are a vessel of mercy and you don't know what negotiated that for you, then what kind of Christian would you be? Oh, we are under mercy. Goodness and mercy will follow us. Do you know what happened for mercy to be made available to you? Are you aware? Somebody shout the blood. The blood. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Some students have forgotten, oh, we are flowing. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our God day and night so now you know the fullness of salvation the fullness of salvation will be manifest when the accuser is finally cast out of his place in heaven but that has not yet happened that has not happened and he is a dragon whose assignment is to deceive the whole world, including the church. Then he quickly moves up to heaven and will not accuse the whole world, but accuse only the brethren. That's his work. See, some of the things that we take it lightly, some of the stuff we take lightly, are the deepest things in the spirit realm. When you tell somebody, be careful of who preaches to you, he will tell you, eh, all I need is solution. But you don't know that the greatest attack on humanity is deception. How would you know this? How would you know that the greatest attack on humanity is deception? And he said that the dragon's work in the last day will be deception. He was the old serpent who deceived just two people. But he will be, by the time he will be deceiving the whole world, he will be a dragon. And he said, this is the dragon that deceived the whole world. And I thought that he would go and accuse the whole world to God. But the Bible said that he will only separate the brethren, the church, and be accusing the church day and night. And he knows that justice is the foundation of God's throne. When you sin, you must pay that is God. He said, just God. So the devil knew that his greatest attack on the church must only be accusation. He must get God to destroy us through our own iniquities. That's the devil. So his greatest assignment is to be standing before God. That's why when Jesus gave the 70 power to go and cast out devils and heal the sick and do that, they came back and they rejoiced that, hey, 
We've been casting out devils in your name. And the Bible said, Jesus thanked God and said, you have revealed this to babies. What was it? That I am not yet dead, but they have found the inheritance that I will have after death. That is my name. You dare not cast a devil in the name of somebody who is not yet Lord. But the people, when they mentioned the name of Jesus, demons left. That name was bestowed on Jesus after he died and resurrected. According to Philippians chapter 2, wherefore he has been given a name that is above all name. That the mention of that name is about. So that time, the name of Jesus shouldn't work. Because even Jesus himself said, in that day, in that day, you will ask everything in my name and it shall be done to you. That means that day have not come. That day will be on the third day when I resurrect. And then whenever you ask. So when they came back and they rejoiced that we use your name and it worked. Jesus said, ah, Father, what have you done? I thank you for showing these people what is about to happen. This shouldn't be happening now. But look at what Jesus said. He said, and I saw Satan descend as lightning. He shouldn't be descending. He should be ascending. So the meaning, this means that when those men were casting devils, Satan was in heaven talking about them. Then Jesus rejoiced. The Bible said Jesus rejoiced in the spirit and told them, do not be happy that you cast out devils. Rather be happy that your names are written in heaven. That means once you were on earth casting devils, something about your name was being discussed in heaven. And he said, rejoice that your name is written in heaven. Then he turned back and said, now I give you power over serpents and scorpions. Nothing shall by any means harm you. He gave them power before. Why is he giving him power again? Why? Because this time, the devil will not only go as an accuser, he will now return as a serpent to come and deceive them. And then as a scorpion to accuse them. Am I here with the church at all? So he said he will come after you as a serpent, accuser of the brethren. The boys were casting out devils, and the devil was up there. The Bible said he descended with anger like lightning. Who are you to cast a devil out? We are going to deal with another aspect of our battle in this world that only the blood can handle. Only the blood. You see, Sometimes you lie before you know you have lied. Let's be real. Let's be real. Not all of us are perfectly walking in the will of God. We deviate. But there is a dragon waiting for your mistake. And it doesn't take him two days to present your file before God. The very moment you are in a mess, then your file must be in heaven. And the Bible calls him the accuser. Of the brethren the last age attack of the church people of god is not sickness is deception the devil wants to deceive you you as you are standing there the devil wants to deceive you and get you into falling into a trap then he goes to accuse you but you see he took angel michael and his angels to finally handle the dragon on the last day the bible said and they overcame him talking about angel michael archangel michael he said and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony they overcame him that means this has been the only weapon against the deceiver and the accuser so how didn't the church manage to overcome him? And it has to take Archangel Michael to declare the blood and the word to overcome. When they declared the blood, what were they doing? The blood is the only element that has the voice to overturn the wrath of a heart. So all that Angel Michael was saying is that God, we can't go and warn these people. We can't go and attack the church. We can't go and preach to them because men must be preachers, not we angels. And you have assigned us and put us charge over them. We have been trying our best. 
We are, they are not stopping sin. We have been trying our best. They are still falling into immorality and fornication. We don't know what to do. So now all we need to be declaring before the throne is that remember the blood of the lamb. Why? Because any time blood is shed, anger must be reversed. So all that the angels will be doing is to be declaring the blood over the face of the father. This is where we win the battle. This is where we win. There is no reverse of wrath until the blood is shed. Listen, let people go around talking against you in the ears of people. Don't worry. Keep declaring the blood. Keep declaring the blood. That's the answer. That's the answer. That's the answer. The answer to wrath. This is a mystery I'm telling you today. The answer to overturning the wrath of any heart is the speaking blood. The Bible says that for the blood of Jesus speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. He speaketh. Blood has a voice. And the blood of Abel was speaking revenge. And only the blood of Jesus spoke forgiveness. And the archangel Michael and his angels kept on declaring the blood of the Lamb. Father, remember the blood of the Lamb. Father, remember. Tonight is a prayer. Jesus. This blood is the blood that reverses wrath and overlooks errors and mistakes. Listen to me. You are a liar if you tell me that you are not committing any error in life. It's a lie. That is why you need the blood to overturn every wrath in anybody's heart against your life. When people go about lying against you, don't cry. Don't try to explain yourself. Just keep on pleading the blood. What the blood does is that it enters the heart of men and begins to speak into their heart so that it doesn't matter what they have heard or seen about you. Something tells them forgive. Something. Something tells them forgive. That something is the voice of the blood. You yourself know you have offended your wife. You have offended your husband. Family members have said, you said you will not agree. What everybody has said, it. just keep on declaring the blood. The blood is so powerful that it overturned the wrath of God. How much more the wrath of a man? Just imagine. It is there. It is the reverser of the wrath in the heart of people. We are going to pray. Am I here with the church at all? Yeah. One of the mistakes the brothers of Joseph did was to share blood. If you want to kill him, kill him. But to put him in a pit and kill an animal in his name and soil the blood of the animal with his clothes and say you are going to show it to his father. They were all going. Suddenly, Judah, Judah started hearing a voice. Why would you kill your brother? <laughs> Tonight, may the blood of Jesus speak for somebody here. <laughs> Listen, a voice started speaking in the heart of Judah. Why would you kill your brother? Why would you kill your brother? Rather go and sell him. So he went behind, took his brother, went to sell his brother rather. Then Reuben too was there. A voice was telling Reuben, go and release your brother. Reuben went back and Joseph was not in the pit. Why? Because one has first heard the voice of the blood and has made a move even before the Reuben made his move. All that I'm telling you is that all you need is to keep speaking the, fourth, the voice of the blood of Jesus. It doesn't matter who said he hates you. That blood will speak his heart back yeah. into your life. Am I talking to a church here? Yeah. There is a superior blood. In the night, the children of Israel killed over one million blood animals. Pharaoh was there. Voices were coming. Pharaoh was there. Voices were coming. Every blood, every animal they killed began to speak. Voices were coming into the heart of Pharaoh. The Bible said he drove them out of Egypt. Why? Because voices were speaking. Blood, 
blood anybody that told a lie against you and people got angry with you and somebody drove you out of the house or somebody drove you out of a job and you had no idea about it i pray by the power of the holy ghost may the blood of jesus begin to speak Are you here with me at all? Yes, sir. Obe bompaye. Samu jay. En fa hu ni bie ne buo fu. Samu jan bet ma kasa chire na kuma. Suddenly. Na sa ni pa na sa se e se me kura de na buo fu ni pa we sa. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. It sa mo ja kasa. Me se mo ja ye de. E kasa. Nen so ni kasa e kasa na e target the heart of people. Israel and Moab. Israel and, and, and the nation of Moab is fighting. They were conquering Moab until the king of Moab took his own son and sacrificed the boy to God. To the God of Israel. He is, he is, he is not to his God, though, to the God of Israel. Why are you helping your people? <laughs> Why are you helping your people? Sacrifice his firstborn. Suddenly, the Bible said, and God got angry with Israel. And Israel fled before the Moabites. David has gone to count the children of Israel, and God got angry that you don't have to be counted. If you count things, that means that you are trying to count and measure my, my power and my process. Don't count anybody, just let them be. Then David mistakenly went to count. God got angry and told David, I give you three options. David said, I'd rather fall into your hands. Then an angel came and started killing them, killing them, killing them, until the angel got to the threshing floor of Aruna. Then suddenly a voice came from heaven and told the angel, Stop it. And the angel was in between the heavens and the threshing floor of Aruna. And God tendered his voice. Don't kill again. And go and search. The, the dressing floor of Aruna was the same place that they built the temple of Solomon. And that was the same place the Bible said, the Bible calls it Mount Moriah. That means that that was the very place that Isaac was taking, the mountain of Mount Moriah, that Isaac was taking to be, crucified, to, to be sacrificed. And God, God told Abraham, don't kill Isaac. Then suddenly he said, I have, to, I have a sheep for myself. And the sheep came and Abraham sacrificed that sheep. Hundreds of years after, let's say thousands of years after, Isaac has come, Jacob has come, Esau has come, Moses has come. After many years, in the days of David, an angel is killing the whole of Israel. Then he gets to that mountain. And suddenly a voice tells him, don't share blood. Suddenly, I am at peace. That means the blood that Abraham shed at that point was still speaking at that time. That when the angel got there, God remembered that the blood is shed. Nothing controls the heart of God like blood. Tonight, you are going to pray. Any error you committed, God, if you are the one angry, let by the blood I speak, let your heart be turned. If a man is angry, let his heart be turned. If a woman is angry, let the blood turn the woman's heart. Am I here with the church at all? Let the blood of Jesus speak on my behalf. Empire say you are crazy. And The blood is able to speak your matter for you. The blood. The blood. Lift up your hands. I know there are some of you here. You are going through something that you don't know why. Everyone that comes against you begins to hit you. Everyone that comes around you begins to hit you. You start a relationship, it turns into something else. Marriage has turned to something else. Can't you see that somebody's heart is turning against you? We are going to plead the blood. Blood of Jesus, speak. Just speak. Say something. Just speak. 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 There are some of you, 
someone must sign something for you. It's been years. It's been months. The person is not signing. Who has spoken to this person? Who has been convincing this person? I don't want to know that voice. But I raise a superior voice. Through the blood of Jesus. I raise a superior voice. I don't know what is against my destiny. But I raise a superior voice. Do you think God does not have a man for you to marry? There is a voice that has been talking to men that comes around. This is not your wife. There is a voice that has been talking to women. This is not your husband. But may the superior voice of the blood of Jesus. That is the voice that is able to let God overlook the accusations of the devil. That is the voice that is able to let God overlook the evidences of the devil around your life. That is the voice that makes God overlook and so you mercy even when you have made mistakes and show you mercy even in your mess and show you mercy even in your errors Lord, I don't know who is cursing me cursing me with the world cursing me with wind cursing me with water speaking to the water to turn against me speaking to the sun to turn against me speaking to the wind to turn against me Lord I don't know who has influenced the hearts of people around me but my father I I plead the blood tonight. I plead the speaking blood tonight. I speak the speaking blood tonight. I plead the speaking blood tonight. My voice cannot handle it, except the voice of the blood of the of the lamp. My voice cannot handle this, except the voice of the blood of the lamp. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, in the secret place of those that hate me, in the secret place of those that accuse me, in the secret place of those that form schemes around me, have mercy. And let the blood speak on my behalf. Let the blood speak on my behalf. Let the blood speak on my behalf. The Bible said we are under the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus. We are under the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus. We are under the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus. Something is happening in my life. I may not understand. Why are these people running after me? Why are these people not favoring me? Why are these people that body you want to lift up your voice? Lord, I don't understand. But tonight I understand the role of the blood. Let the blood speak on my behalf. Let the blood speak on my behalf. My voice is not loud enough. My voice is not loud enough. Let the voice of the blood. Let the voice of the blood. Let the voice of the blood. The accusations are too much, Lord. Let the voice of the blood. Hey! Only the blood, only the blood, only the blood. Only the blood. Only the blood. Only the Speak for me, blood of Jesus. Speak for me, blood of Jesus. If you don't understand why disappointments are everywhere, let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. 
name of Jesus. Of Jesus.